Okay guys, we are back over here on this one. I am gonna, I'm not gonna set up the camera, it's too tight back here. Oh yeah, look at the flocks turned it out nice. I'm not gonna set up the camera, it's kinda tight back here. So I'm just gonna show you an after, before, after, and then when we get to the front. Cause I do have to spade all this, all these beds here, so. Let me get some done. Okay, so Rachel's teaching Jared how to blow, to feather it, and sometimes you don't have to go full power. I'm cleaning out these nice, tight bed edges. The only thing I didn't do is edge it with a trimmer because we're gonna be mowing this week anyway. So. And we're unloading this right here. And then we're gonna go mow some, I think. Hi. Rachel's finishing up over in that corner. I'm gonna show you guys the beds before I spade them. And then I'll get you an after. And then they'll be done mulching this by then. Okay, we're done this tree ring. We're done this right here. We're done all the way back here, except for down that way. We did the flocks, plant four, five flocks here, mulched all the way to there. We still have to do the flagstone. We mulched all along here, looking good. Now the edges aren't super crispy because like I said, remember, we're gonna come back and mow this at the end of the week. So. And it is Tuesday, April 11th. The lawn's looking thick and lush, some weeds in it. And then after we're done mulching this whole yard and doing the flagstone, we have to go right over to the neighbor. We didn't do a beginning video when we started today. You guys seen we did mulch. So, oh yeah. So and good I morning. Saw Jared. Oh yeah, good Jared afternoon. was helping. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely afternoon now. Yeah. And we, we have, do have a few that we have to get mowed. We have to mow three lawns, so I'm not gonna record them. We're just gonna get them mowed. I'll record us pruning a bush and get that done because Rachel has to be back and go to puppy classes by five fifteen. So mm -hmm. We're going to yeah. get out and get to work, and then we will talk to you more probably tomorrow's video. Yeah. But it'll be the same video, so. <laughs> there you go. Right? <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll be more chatty. Yeah. We just have to get done today for sure. Yeah, definitely. But so, we appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. So let's go. I will give you a before of this. Look how nice and long the grass is. Nice, right? There we go. We're just about done these two. The next one we're going to, we're gonna prune a bush, but let me get this packed up because we only have 45 minutes to get this thing pruned and this yard mowed. And then we have to start headed back over to the house. So, cause they have to be up in Asheville by 5.15. Okay guys, I'm gonna mess with that. Rachel's gonna mess with the lawn. That's a pretty big bush. We will get it all chopped up. This thing is huge,
we're taking that bush a lot shorter. It's just we didn't have room and really time to do it today. Or so, room, really. Yeah. Mowing heights are two and a half inches today, boss. No, they're not. I'm sorry, I don't do that. Well, don't you gotta match the neighbor? No. <laughs> that might be one inch, to be honest with you. I do go lower on this one, but not that low. I do three and a half. But it looks nice. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to continue to look nice if they continue to go that low. And they're not going to fertilize it. So you guys, I mean, we don't know. We don't know what they're doing, but I don't yeah. think they'll fertilize. So you'll see a progression of more and more weeds in it probably over the years unless they fertilize it. But I'm kind of glad they didn't contact us to mow it anyway. Right? Yeah, we have a we have enough on our plate for sure. Yeah, and we have six in here, so... so. Fun, fun, fun. So today's just a day of mowing continued mm. from yesterday. We're going to mow hopefully... Hopefully 14 today, right? It would be nice. Yeah. Can you mow 14 today? Boy? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Six of them are here. Then one's so seven, eight, nine, ten. So by the time we leave Asheville, we'll have mowed 10 yards. Yeah. So, so we'll see how we do, guys. Okay. We'll you never see. know what goes on. Yeah, ten's not bad though. So yesterday we started the day. I don't think we recorded it because I just wanted to get it fixed and out of the way. We started with a flat tire at the mulch yard. We got to the mulch yard, got our little mulch, and I went to go and it told me it was unsafe to drive or some <laughs> something on my window, my thing. Rachel said when she was sitting there, she thought she felt like the truck started to lean. Yeah. So like I ended up getting out to I guess help Carl with the tarp. And when I was getting back in, I had left my door open. So I guess that's why I didn't see it. You're like, oh, it's lower to get down. Yeah. The like, I'm like, like five inches. I'm like, oh, wow, that rock and mulch must have really weighed the truck down. Right. Yeah. So I get in and then I don't know. I go to drive and. Yeah. So there must have been like a cut or something in it. And as we were driving to the mulch yard, because the mulch yard is only like what? tops 10 yeah. miles from our house and what do you know the employee doesn't have a jack in the car because i have a floor jack and it's a pain in the butt to lift that thing in and out of the car so kayla had to bring the thank goodness she was home yeah thank goodness. she brought the jack over we have on star anyway they'll come and jack it up it just would have been much longer yeah. but so kayla brought my jack needless to say I jacked it up changed the tire put the <laughs> sparrow on and then we were on our way by like almost 12 o'clock so yeah so. but Fun, fun. So now we're going to get out and mow, 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 and hopefully we can be done kind of early today. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. This lawn's looking good. Remember when it was all weeds? Like all this was weeds, guys. So it's six in here. I'll show you a couple after befores. I just want to get mowing so we can get going. Right, boss? She can't hear me. She has headphones now, so she ignores everything I say, guys. Kind of mean, ain't it? Right, boss? What? Yeah, I just told him about you. About me doing what? I said now she has headphones, so she just ignores everything I say. <laughs> it's kind of mean, ain't it, guys? It's not mean. You, listen, you're the employee for long enough. You know what needs to be done. <laughs> now I'm getting yelled at. <laughs> done that one down there with the mower in the yard. I have to do this one next. See where Rachel's at. Somewhere. So we're done six of these. That one down there, and then one, two, three down there, and then one over there. Right, that's six. One, two, three, four, five. No, five in here. Am I wrong? Oh no, six. This one here. I'm getting a little confused. 
It took us an hour and 22 minutes. It took us 12 minutes than last week, more than last week. But I had to fertilize this one and lime this one. And Rachel's blowing it off. So not bad. And that's a small yard. This is my minimum as far as fertilizing. This yard is literally probably 2,000 square feet. I do still a 5,000 square foot minimum. And that's what I charge them for price too. So the lime that, one bag of lime, one bag of fertilizer. Not even a bag, actually. Um, it's 130, 70, and 60 to do that. And we do this one for that, that one for that, and one behind me. And then one. So we fertilize four in here. And then we got to give an estimate for the fifth one. Whew. Not too bad. So we're going to go on the next street over. Not the next street, but like a quarter mile away. And mow one more and then head to the city and do one, two, three, four more. And look, every yard we're at is a hill. The boss is working hard. I'm sitting on the rail right here. See? You can do it. You can do it. Somebody came and mowed that while we were in here. And look, the boss said it's pretty. Really? Who mowed it? Who mowed it? The only boss. person who uses 61 on a tiny yard. <laughs> yeah. You can use big mom. Coming in nicely. Work hard, feel good. Not too bad. Remember that huge azalea we moved last year, guys? Doing really nice right there. Is she in city limits? Yeah. Oh, is she? Brenda, I don't think it is, but... Okay, let's go get this quick one done. It takes us about 10 minutes. We'll finish the next one. Looking good, the lawn is. We treat this one, too. Well, guys, there's number 12 for the day. All the way down there. It doesn't even look long. But we are going to mow it anyway, because it's been a little bit more than a week. So Rachel's finishing blowing this one. I'm done mowing. Number 12, it's 3.40 now. We didn't start until 11, but we got 12 done. And we could actually go do four more, five or six more and work until seven, eight o'clock at night. But, sorry guys, I'm not in business to work until nine, eight, nine o'clock at night. I'm done. You guys want to see a pretty bird? What are the morning bugs like? Now, a year ago, all that crap in the background you guys see wasn't even there. They ripped the whole mountain down to build and develop. Oh, yeah. It was like a, a, almost two years ago. But I know. But yeah. Now it's bright, so when you want to look at stars, you have to look at lights. Yeah. So but it is what it is. It's called progress, man. People gotta live bird, somewhere, right? Like, that bird's like listening to you talk. I don't, does it look like a baby? It kind of looks like a baby. You're the evil bird that ran my bluebirds away. Yeah, probably. Oh, there's its partner in crime. You seen it? No, did it? Yeah, flew oh, into yeah. there. Oh, yeah, see, it's chasing another bird away. They're taking my nest. Okay. Got yeah. a little warmer today too than I expected it to. Almost 420. Almost 420. We still got 19 minutes left until 420 there, boss. <laughs> so, but like Rachel said, it, it got hot today, 73. But mm -hmm. you can't complain, man, because then people down in that 
state that sticks way out in the ocean, Florida. They're about 97 degrees. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys, already. Oh, I'm not. You guys moved down there. That wasn't but, me. But like, what, so wait, doesn't anywhere north have snow still? Yeah, there's places that still have snow. So there's still places that have snow, not mowing, and Florida's 90 degrees. So. Desert, yeah. I th thought they hit record highs, but we're, we're 10 degrees above average most days now, too. So, yeah. But I can't. Anywhere down below the 48th parallel, we're kind of below it, but I don't like mowing because it's hot and it gets hot and we moved to the mountains for the coolness in the summers. I, we, it was really like when we first moved here, there was no humidity, nothing. And it was just gorgeous. You get them occasional days where it got nine, it didn't not never get the 90. It would get the 90 degrees maybe once or twice for the year. Yeah. And now we're at like 10 days a year. And that's a lot. That's 80% more 90 degree days that yeah. we've been having when we get into the summertime. So let's hope this year we get like some kind of, um, what do they call them? Ice age that comes and cools the whole globe down. I don't and, want an ice age now. <laughs> we'll be cool and nice but i definitely don't want a nice age but i mean it would be nice for it to be a little cooler but why then you can start a business selling ice cubes right <laughs> if an ice age came nobody would want my ice cubes because they would have their own <laughs> maybe they would pay me to take theirs away yeah you could become a snow plower then. <laughs> one of them snow no, plow people no, up north yeah keep that up there above the 48th parallel too no, um, well, hopefully you guys are busy and, um, or at least you're getting busy. You and know. if you're not, the one thing you guys in the really cold that are missing that I guarantee you don't want is allergies. Yeah. Because they're back. Mm hmm Again, I got a headache. Yeah. My nose is kind of stuffy. That's what spring brings. But, well, it's either allergies or the other thing, but we'll pretend it's allergies, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it's allergies. Yeah, it's definitely allergies. I haven't been definitely anywhere. don't need any. Yeah, I don't want to be down for cold. a week or two. That would no. stink. So we're done, not for the week. We're done for the Wednesday. You guys seen a couple of days of working. We might go back and do some more mulch in the morning on the one project that we, you guys seen just before this. Um, I think we're gonna only like three yards, and then we're gonna go out and mow. Friday, I'm hoping the weatherman's wrong, but he really hasn't been. And it's supposed to rain, but maybe we'll get something done. Yeah. I, and then we're definitely going to work Saturday, and the boss has me working Sunday this week. Wait, why do I have you working? We got to work at Heather's house on Sunday. Oh. And Saturday, I can't work a full day. I forgot. Where are you going Saturday? I'm going to get my hair done. Oh, yeah. The boss is getting her hair cut. I, it is so long, you guys. I, it's so long. She's going pink. No, I'm not, not the color. Oh, yeah. I am. I'm going to have them cut it really short. Just like um, you guys know the singer Pink. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have them do it like that. Like short. She's like, you think it'll look good if I do that? I said, yeah. it look yeah. fine. Well, because it's if hair, not, it then. Back. Right. During the day, I just, I wear the head wraps. And you guys may question why I wear the head wraps. One, the sun is not good to be beating down on your hair all day long. No. Um, two, I it keeps like dust and debris and like all that stuff out of my hair. So I don't necessarily have to like jump in the shower as soon as I get home because we farm. Yeah. And we have children and, you know, there's all kinds of stuff going on. And you would think after working so, all day, we'd come home and not work, but we do. We come home and do more work. Yeah, we do. So, um, I love the head wraps because it's just, instead of me having to wear a hat, it kind of is just something that I can put on that protects my hair. Um, and keeps like debris out and of it. And keeps you from sweating all down there. Yeah. That's another thing is that it does kind of like get the sweat. Whereas like when I'm not wearing it, it will just run down into my face because I have so much hair. Like, I guess guys don't really need to deal with that because you have short hair and then you put a hat on. And Are you kidding like, me, man? I see them lawnmower guys out there with beards all the way down to their yeah. belt buckle. I, how and does hair do I don't know how don't you know guys how do that, man. I'd be like, oh my, do you sweat in your beard? Do you? you have I've never to. had a beard before. I've never grown a beard. All right. So. so the beard crew, please let us know how, I don't know how you deal with it. Are we just babies? Maybe we're just babies. 
<laughs> well, I'll up to it. I'm a baby. I'm not going to mow in heat with hair and <laughs> stuff all over me. If, I know. He if gets, that makes me a baby, that makes me a baby. In the summer, he's like, shorter, yeah. <laughs> shorter. I'd shave it all the way off to nothing and then just throw some sunscreen on it. <laughs> yeah. But... But I guess we have My to barber be... hasn't gotten that risky yet. No. She kind of keeps it long because she likes it that way. I like it a little longer. I mean, on the side short, of course, but... Well, guys, hopefully you like that story time. Yeah, um, story time with the boss. We are busy and we are done. So yeah. please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good have night. Have a good night.